What's poppin' internet? The Black Okage here, aka DBH. And to be honest, Playbuds reached out to me a few weeks ago asking if I wanted to test out their new wireless headset for PS4 and possibly do a review on it. And I said, sure, because my last PS4 headset broke and I needed the new one anyway. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to share my thoughts on this headset. Just know that I didn't get paid for this review, but they did give me a free headset. But y'all know how I rock. Free don't mean shit to me. I'm going to still get my opinion. I'll erase you here. The Arctic Freedom Wireless Headset is the latest offering from PlayBuds. Retailing at 40 bucks, this wireless headset operates via Bluetooth, features a built-in microphone, noise canceling, support for voice prompts, stereo music, a sweatproof design, smart control, volume control, and the option to connect with the two phones at once. All of this is advertised as a PS4 headset on the site. On the side of the box, it claims to work with phones, tablets, PCs, and other various gaming devices. Basically, it seems compatible with anything Bluetooth related. After extensive use with this thing, I feel like the price they're asking for is fair in comparison to the features this headset has to offer. Not to mention, this thing is incredibly be easy to set up. You basically hold the pairing button on the USB dongle and the pairing button on the headset, wait a few seconds for it to sync, and voila, so the thing gets points for being easy to set up. The best way to describe this thing's sound is plausible at best. I wasn't expecting much because this is a cheap headset, but at the same time, nobody likes terrible muddy audio. I'm no audiophile, so I'm not qualified to talk about highs, lows, mids, etc. But what I can tell you is, I've owned many headsets, and I'd compare the Arctic Freedom to the Apple earbuds that come with the iPhone and the iPod. If you use those, then you know there are no audio technicas or Sennheisers, but they do get the job done. And that's the best way I can describe my experience using these. It gave me decent sound. Just don't expect any crazy bass from your gameplay, and don't expect the option to hear all the little details in a single player campaign. Sound gets a C plus at best from me, and I was okay with that because they're not asking for $200 for this shit and it has a built in mic that actually sounds solid. Here's a quick sound test to show you guys what the microphone on this headset sounds like. Design and comfort is one of the Arctic Freedom's strongest points. The thing is light and it sat comfortably in my ears. Never once did I feel the need to make adjustments because they were starting to hurt, but that's mainly because the default size fit me. If they don't for you, then just know the box comes with extra earbud sizes to fit your needs. What I really like about this headset is it's a true wireless headset. A lot of wireless headsets I've used require you to still plug a mic into the controller's mic jack with a cord, but not with the Arctics. Instead, they've opted for a wireless dongle that plugs into your mic's jack. This thing has a transmission range of up to 10 meters so you can walk away from your controller a bit and up to six hours on a single charge for gaming and music and 180 hours on a standby. If I had to make one complaint about this headset, it feels a bit cheap. Feels like it was made from like a cheap plastic, but as long as you're not out here stepping on the headset, then you should be good. PlayBuds Arctic Freedom Wireless Headset is a solid choice for those on a tight budget. At $40, don't expect top-notch audio and an amazing build. What you get here instead is decent audio, a cord-free experience, and the ability to talk shit to people in your favorite online games all in one package. If you're okay with that, then feel free to pick up this headset. There will be a link in the description box below. So I see you made it to the end of my video. Now, one would assume that you found something informative about this review, even if it was just one thing. Do me a favor and support your boy by hitting the like button, commenting, and subscribing if you haven't already. Those three elements help a brother's channel grow, and growth means I'm more motivated to create more free content for you. It's a win-win situation. So remember, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Oh yeah, and share this video on your favorite social media platforms. Like Donald Trump's gonna be the next president. Ah!